People have often asked me what makes the perfect fishing rod. All I would say is that you know it when you pick it up because it becomes part of you and it, it's effortless. Okay guys, what I'm doing today is I'm, uh, I'm on a fishing trip actually to Bluebell Lakes uh, near Peterborough and as a favour to the guys from Sonic, there's some friends of mine, they've asked me to try out the new Gravity X uh, cart rods that they've got. I've never tried them before obviously, they're uh, a brand new rod, new concept and I thought it would be good for me to impartially test them. I'm not paid by uh, Sonic or anything to do this. They just said, would I do it? Because I've got some history as, as a bit of a caster. Uh, well, I've been casting most of my life, you know, as you know. But uh, they said, would I put them through the paces and give an honest, honest appraisal of the rod? So I said, yeah, why not? I'll give them a good thrashing and see what happens, eh? Yeah, well a great rod to me is something that almost becomes part of you. It's like um, an extension of the way you think and behave and you know, you, you can just look at a part of the swim that you want to fish and the rod will just deliver it perfectly. It's almost like having a, being a, a musician and having something like a, a, a violin, like a Stradivarius as opposed to just one off the shelf that's got no quality to it. Or, feel or it doesn't resonate the same, you have to have something that's, that's um, a bespoke specialist tool for the job, you know, and uh, they either have it or they don't have it. I can pick up some rods and I think, oh no, this is terrible, you know, it's just not what I want. And uh, I mean, the worst thing is getting something that you're scared of hitting hard because you think it might break. To me, that's just a waste of time. If you're spending a lot of money, and you've got to that stage where you work your way through all the cheaper rods and then you get into the iron gear. And I still see people that are terrified of blowing rods up and, and I think that's a disaster. And there is some rods that do blow up, you know, if you, if you make the wrong choices. So I want something that's, that's uh, Premier League really, you know. It's a very individualistic thing, you know, but uh, there's more crap rods out there than there are good ones, I think. So when you actually find something that's, that's of that caliber, you know it straight away. As soon as you pick it up, you think, oh yeah, this is right, you know. Wow. There's not a lot I can say about that. It's uh, fairly awesome. Right, there we go. Well, I've tried all three of the Gravity X rods. I've tried the, this is the three and a half. I've tried the uh, three and a quarter and the three pound test curve. I've got to say they're all very, very good rods. The three and a half, I can say that I'm doing over 200 yards with it. It's uh, absolutely brilliant for the range. It'll take all the, you know, five ounce leads, four and a half, no problem. Uh, I'd say exceptional distance rod. The the three that I tried earlier was incredible. It was not getting so far off distance wise, this one. Yet it's a hell of a, a rod for playing fish on. Uh, the three and a quarter, again, a great all round rod and good for distance as well. Very, very pleasantly surprised. Uh, the, the, the three I was using, three and a half ounces of lead and the three and a quarter, I think I had a four on. And they've all done a hell of a distance, so. Uh, Pretty impressed to say the least. I've been involved in uh, the tackle industry for the last 20 years and over that time involved in rod development for about the same period and one of the great things about being involved in fishing rod development is you see all the advances that come about both in materials and technology. And in that time, um, the di difference in rods is amazing from what they used to be 20 years ago to what you can now get. With the new Gravity X rods that we've just launched onto the market, they really are 
a step change difference to anything that I've witnessed before in terms of their lightness, their slimness and their sheer performance. And that's really brought about by the particular material that we've managed to get to use to make the blanks. Now this material um, it, it's not developed for fishing rods. All the, all the best carbon fibres are developed for the aerospace industry. And um, we are using material called Nano Alloy, which has been developed and patented by a company in Japan called Tori Carbon Fibres, um, presumably to make lighter and stronger aircraft. All the Airbuses are using it. Applied to a fishing rod, what it allows us to do is to make a rod that's a lot slimmer. It's incredibly light, but it's got a steeliness to it and a really fast response. In other words, the tip recovers really quickly when you cast. And everyone, bar none, who's used it, who's tested it, Frank testing it today, has been amazed with the performance. Because when you first pick the rod up, it feels really slim and really light. But when you then cast with it, it really does um, achieve some amazing things. So we're really excited about it, and we think it's going to be um, really great for Sonic Brand. Well, you've seen what Frank's been able to achieve with the Gravity X, and it's been quite an eye-opener. We've had several days across the country where normal customers from several shops have taken these rods out and improve their casts. There is a rod within that range for everybody. There is a cork handle version, a skinny shrink version, and an abbreviated version. But what I think strikes home with me in particular is having sold rods for a living, having worked in the industry for many, many years and possibly tried literally every rod that's ever been made, is the lightness, the slimness, and more importantly, the price. I think if there's one thing that sort of really rings home today, it's that Sonic as a company, as a brand, have really produced top quality fishing equipment at a very realistic price. You take that whole range, there's a three, three and a quarter, three and a half, they start at 250, they end at 300, so you're not gonna break the bank. They have beautiful playing actions, they're not just out and out casting tools, so there has to be a rod there for each and every one of you.